Okay, honey. Today is day four. Your mutes are zero. You got no immunity. And um, your platelets are gone down. I'm about to get you some more platelets. Okay. And um, you've gotten an infection as well. You're okay until day two. You've gotten an infection. And they've given you antibiotics for it. And they got, gave you a chest x-ray too. Hmm? Yeah, you're not the best, are you, honey? Before they can give you antibodies, we need a stool sample. So we've been trying for the last day to get you to do a stool. Hmm? And you haven't got the strength to get to the toilet, to your bed, without assistance at the moment. And also just changing yourself. But you're doing so well, honey. Thank you very much. Hmm? In and out of consciousness. Sorry? In and out of consciousness. Yes, you're falling in and out of consciousness at the moment. You're very... They got you on some very strong painkillers at the moment. As part of your chemotherapy, your saliva stopped producing saliva. Well, apparently the, the cells that make up saliva are the first cells that the chemo destroy. So you've got no saliva in your intestinal tract and therefore nothing protecting your intestinal tract against the, the acids and you, you uh, get tumours potentially from your mouth to your ass. but because you're being so religious about your mouth care pr protection I believe you reduced it quite significantly been doing that for two months now, washing your, your mouth. No doubt. She's, uh, we're, we're, we're getting another bag up there. No, no, that's fine. I'm just talking to her and filming her at the same time. Just so. Um, so has she finished her plate I haven't checked. I'll check. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think they're well? Mm -hmm. Um, well, we were discussing that, uh, yeah. Your platelets, your head and my fixture. Uh, we we're trying to get a stool sample. Uh, you were to the point where you couldn't talk. And I was surprised because, you know, you dealt with the stem cell antifreeze quite well. You did that without throwing up. Hmm? And one thing that was interesting is how the stem cells, you yeah, sweat it out and it's, it's quite pongy. Um, you can definitely smell it. Other people can smell it, but you can't smell it. But uh, the nurses said that uh, yours was not as bad as others. That I think it's because you're such a tiny little thing, only 50 kilos. Hey? The stem cells. Yeah. Yeah. You sweat it out. And, yeah. And it's a bit pongy. It's a bit like rotting fish. <laughs> but it's gone now. You don't have to worry. Okay? And even the doctor commented how uh, it was very less pungent with you. And that it was quiet. Yeah. But you look forward to, the, to when you farted or it was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. You're doing so well, honey. Don't be all the time. 
Yeah, you got diarrhea all the time and you're wearing a neck here at the moment. So, uh, so she's bringing the platelets, is she? Is she due to get platelets or is she just receiving? You can think Millie. Oh, okay. Because they said. Millie, I think, opened up. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. I've been in there a few times. She's taking the book because she's getting one more back. So I couldn't really check. Well, that's okay. Somebody had played already, but I don't know. Couldn't have, could have been somebody else. Hmm. So we're just trying to find out if you had your platelets. And the. Uh, Okay. I'll see you until about five and the doctors came at eight and uh, they gave her an examination and they decided they didn't need the stool sample to put you on antibiotics your temperature had risen to 38 degrees 38.1 I believe and they put you on antibiotics to deal with an infection and your temperature has now come back down to 37.1 so you're back to normal temperature so we believe the antibiotics are fighting your infection okay so we believe everything's going to plan they expected you to get an infection only two people out of all the people that's had this procedure that hasn't had an infection and they were considered freaks so there was a certain time there when you weren't throwing up and you were talking to everyone and flying people in and <laughs> being the social bunny being introduced the international uh, hematologist from Poland <laughs> And you were chatty with everyone. You were talking about doing conferences. <laughs> you were going to take on MS Victoria. Hey? You put another bag coming. Oh. Of uh, platelets. Yes, you might need it. No, platelets, you had it at 11 in the morning. Okay. Thank you. So that's been given. There's a couple more. It's not okay. Yeah. So we, we've got magnesium. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. They put in now. What does the magnesium do? Yes. What, what does that do? What, what, what is that magnesium? Magnesium is part of the electrolytes. Oh, like okay. The little things in the blood that help balance you. So like you have potassium, magnesium. They get your electrolyte. They just little trace things in your blood. Okay. Sometimes when you have chemo, they just, you get low on them. Okay. So you control your heart rate and you know, that's kind of stuff. Does it help with the muscle rebuild? Yeah, no, like no rebuild, that? no, like muscle, proper muscle function. So you okay. Yeah. You get a little bit here, but they do the daily blood. Okay. They just make sure that it's right before you go to and have problems. Yeah. So they, they have your, the range. They look at it and know you're below the range, top you up, you follow it again. So even though they're a little trace element, if you don't have them, they cause big problems. Yeah. Okay. Is she do for any more antibiotics later on? Yeah. 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 Because you went February, weren't you? You had a temperature. Yeah, yeah. she had a temperature yeah. in the so doctor's. You don't yeah. 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 Thank you, nurse. Yeah. Okay. You got a special one there, I noticed. You got a double one. Okay. Like a subwoofer. You do? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the camera on her, not over there. Top of the Sorry? I've got the camera on her, not over there. So Doing I, what? It just, uh, just filming, talking to her. And <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> just, uh, just in case you were conscious about being on the camera. No, no, I'm not worried. I just need to find some gloves, that's all. Yeah. Where are the gloves? Uh, there's oh. some uh, medium gloves up there. Do you want a purple glove? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, so you don't even have to.
Also, the other sister was going to get me some large ones as well. The the other nurse was going to get me some large ones because large everyone was helping me with yeah, her poo. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay. Uh, the actual day, I think it's Sunday, I believe. It's Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Hi. It's the holy day. Carmel. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. So, I'm just still try trying to get a urine sample. So, after you had a bit of a rest, you fill up to it. Give it a go. I think you need to have a bit of rest. It's quite a bit of effort to get that still sample from. Hmm? You feel quite sleepy with all the drugs. I think they're still giving you, you know, all the morphine. I don't know. Um, if they got a progress update when it goes to your, your stomach ulcers. Hmm? 